How's it going? And welcome to my bullet journal December setup. Let's talk about the ambience of this video. Okay, I got some Christmas music. I got a candle burning. Okay. And I got some uh, little cup of something, something. Not really sure what that is, but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was really good. And in terms of the supplies, let me tell you, I'm in love with my Crayola Super Tips. They're amazing. I just used a bunch of colors. And I'm also using my Faber Castell, I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right, uh, pens, and they're amazing. And of course, my bullet journal, my Lewis Term 1917 dotted bullet journal. And let's talk about the theme that I decided to go for for December. I got some little ornaments. I got a lot of inspiration from our fellow bullet journal queen Amanda Rachley as you can see I also went for like these little twinkly but very colorful in your face lights I like to have the little ornaments hanging and here you can see my calendar I kind of just made it so that the lights loop around and I have the ornaments hanging down it's so cute this is probably my favorite spread now without further ado let's get started with the video so we're gonna start on a clean 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 page this is one supply that I forgot got to mention that I really highly use is the Paper Mate. I'm not really sure what kind of pencil it is. It's just really good. I'm sure you've seen it and it's amazing. So as you can see, I'm just kind of making little dots. Since we're setting up my weekly spread, I wanted to make it into little boxes. So my boxes are 15, no, 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 sorry, 11 by 15. So 11 across, 15 down. And I kind of just keep on doing this for every single day of the week. I do it from Monday through Sunday. And for me, my week starts on a Monday, you know, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you prefer. And here I'm using my extra small Faber Castell pen and I'm just kind of writing in calligraphy and I'm doing like the fake calligraphy. So I'm kind of, what I'm doing is that I'm first writing it just simple the, the day of the week. And then on the down strokes where it should be thicker, I'm kind of just coloring it in. This is an amazing way to cheat it. It's an amazing way to pretend that you know what you're doing, but you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> Not me, okay. So here I am just doodling, listening to my Christmas music, listening to Mariah Carey come out of the coffin, come back to life. You know what I mean? I'm so happy for her. She's doing great. And now I'm going in and drawing the little hanging ornaments, which I got the inspiration from Amanda Rachel Lee. Her ornaments are different shapes. If you've seen her video, you probably saw what she did, which was beautiful. I love the way that she did it. Uh, but I kind of wanted to go for like just the tacky, just hanging, colorful, ornaments so that's what I did I just kind of drew them all the same try to make them different sizes and also had them hanging at different heights because I think that looks so cute oh my god it's so cute and yeah so I just kind of did as many as I wanted to do and the fun thing about this theme is that you can really just make it your own you can do like her you can kind of make it into different shapes and different colors which is great and as you can see since I already mapped out where all of the squares are going to lie I'm now drawing a Officially, with my permanent pen, I'm drawing the little string of the, the lights, of the Christmas lights. So the reason I went in with pencil first before going in with pen, obviously, is because I wanted to basically know where I should write the days of the week, the different names of the days of the week. And now I'm going in with my small sized Faber Castell pen. It's a little bit thicker. And so I go in and draw the little, okay, I really don't know what these are called. I think it's like the sockets, the sockets of the different individual lights. And I just kind of draw them. They're kind of like almost, they're like an in-between between a triangle and a box and a square. I don't really know how to explain myself, but if you just look up pictures of Christmas lights, you'll see what I mean, okay? And yes, so now I'm going in with the different Crayola Super Tips and I'm just kind of coloring in the different lights. And this is like the super fun part because you let you get to see it come to life. To draw the different lights, it's basically a tiny raindrop. That's what I think of it. It's like a little raindrop shape or light bulb shape. It's just like a little 
drop. It's really easy to draw and it makes a really big impact with all the different colors. And if you even wanted to go less tacky, I wanted to go for like the extreme like Christmas tacky look. But if you want to go more classic, you can go with just like a blue or maybe like a yellow to make it all one color. And now Assista is coloring in the ornaments. This is also the super fun part. And I think I decided to take a break from the little Christmas lights because it is really tedious as much as it is like really therapeutic. I went in to color the different ornaments and obviously you can make this any color that you want. You can make them have designs, but I just wanted it to be simple. I just wanted to color them all one distinct color. Uh, but I think it would be really, really beautiful if you did make them have different designs, kind of like Amanda Rachley or anyone else on YouTube. Literally, there's been so many incredible December bullet journal spreads, which is why I love the bullet journal community here on YouTube okay and then I'm coloring the little top parts of the ornaments with a brown color and yes it looks so cute this is honestly one of my favorite spreads ever and as you can see I'm just continuing to color in the little Christmas lights very simple very easy very damn therapeutic let me tell you just go ahead and finish that off and it should look something like this oh my god it's so cute I like have shown everything Everybody, everyone who crosses my path, I'm like, do you want to see my bullet journal? It's so cute. I know you didn't ask, but I'm going to show you anyways. But thanks for hanging out with me, girl or boy, whoever is watching this video. I hope that you had fun or at least this was relaxing for you. And you can follow me on Instagram. Links are down below and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.